Based on the gargantuan cost of college, many parents understandably are looking for help and wanting to have more understanding about how much college is really going to cost them. After 20 years of helping families save and pay for college, I want parents to focus on what their true out-of-pocket costs are going to be for college. Well, to get to that number, we have to understand a couple of terms. The first term is called cost of attendance. Cost of attendance, every school has one. We basically call this the sticker price. It includes tuition, room and boards, books, transportation, miscellaneous. That's the cost of attendance. The second is student aid index. Student aid index is a formula that the government uses to determine how much a family can afford to pay per student per year for college. Once I understand cost of attendance and student aid index, I understand need, that's the equation. Cost of attendance minus student aid index equals need. Need is the amount of money that you can get help with from the school that your student ultimately goes to. So let's start with cost of attendance and where do we find this information? This is the cost of attendance for a four-year diploma. At Arizona State University, this is our, po our popular in-state school here in Arizona, the whopping cost of four-year diploma is $120,000. Now, if you're going out of state or to a smaller private school, now you're looking at $240,000 for a four-year diploma. And those of you that have your eyes set on those prestigious schools, very prestigious or Ivy, baby Ivy, now we're up to $380,000 for a four-year diploma. Now, collegeboard.org is a wonderful resource. It actually represents over 4,000 universities here in the United States. On collegeboard.org, you can go in and search your student's school of choice. We're working with Arizona State University. I'll click Arizona State University, and here is a plethora of information on the university. It has an overview of the college and the campus, admissions, academics, and because I'm a college funding expert, I spend the majority of my time in the costs page. Once you go to cost, you're going to see the expenses associated with Arizona State University. I do want to caution you, average means average. Average and actual are very real uh, numbers that are quite different. The number you're looking for to understand the need that you could get help with is the sticker price down here. So in-state tuition for Arizona State University is $11,500. Out of state is $32,400. And then you'll see there's other costs housing, books, supplies, personal expenses, transportation, these two together make up the cost of attendance. Once you understand what the cost of attendance is, we now need to move over to student aid index. Student aid index is what a family is expected to pay and it's determined by a few factors. Mom and dad's assets and income, students' assets and income, parents at uh, ages. And this must be filled out. The FAFSA can be filled out your student's senior year, December 1st. In my opinion, families should understand what their student aid index is much earlier in the college funding years. I'm thinking ninth grade. And to help you understand what your SAI would be, I will link a video below on helping you understand your specific student aid index. You do not need to wait to your student's senior year, December 1st, to understand what you're expected to pay. I'm gonna use the numbers again from Arizona State University. So cost of attendance, which is $32,500, minus the student aid index. I use the example of a family of four making $100,000 a year, 
and having $50,000 worth of assets. They're expected to pay by the government's formula $18,250 per year per child. Now, what you'll see is we have help, right? Cost of attendance minus student aid index equals the help a student or family can receive. In this case, Arizona State University would be open to helping the student with their need $14,250. Now, universities will meet need in various ways. I've put a link to a video below showing you how universities will meet need. But going back to the collegeboard.org. For the purposes of our meeting, we're focused on Arizona State University. Again, in the cost tab, scroll down and you'll see financial aid. And there's some statistics on financial aid. Again, percentage of need met, 61%. So if you have $10,000 in need, they're only going to help you with 61% of that. Let me show you an example to put all of this together. Cost of attendance minus student aid index equals need, and then what parents' true out-of-pocket costs will be. Here's how the numbers play out. Arizona State University... Remember the cost of attendance is $32,500. Here's a family of four making $100,000, having $50,000 in assets. And the federal government says you can afford to pay $18,250 a year per student. The equation for need is cost of attendance, right? That sticker price, every school has one minus the family student aid index, that's gonna equal need. That's how much help a family can get at Arizona State University. Now, the percentage of need met by ASU is only 61%. So of the $14,250, ASU is only going to help with $8,700. That's the amount they're gonna help with. And the way they're going to help is only 72% of the $8,700 is going to be free money or money that doesn't have to be paid back, which means we have gap, right? There is a portion of your family's need that will not be covered. That is what we call gap. In this family situation, there, they would be required out-of-pocket costs to pay the $18,250 in addition to the gap, which would make that $26,250 out-of-pocket costs that this family would have to pay. Families, understanding what your out-of-pocket costs are going to be early in the process, ninth grade will go a long way to helping you with a successful college funding plan. If you would like to understand your specific numbers, I offer a college planning uh, form on my website at monicafelton.com forward slash college that will help you understand your specific information. You need to put in some high level information on mom and dad's assets and income. I need to understand your students' GPA and standardized test scores, and you can give a generalization for those if they're younger. Uh, and then what you'll get as a report to help you understand what you're expected to pay, what your out-of-pocket costs are going to be, and will financial aid be a part of your paying for college plan? For over 20 years, I've been helping families save and pay for college so they don't wreck their retirement. Please understand your student aid index early. Understand how much help you're actually going to be, um, what opportunities are going to be for you. Because you don't want to wait until your student's senior year and then have to say, I'm sorry, I can't afford to send you to college. If I can be of help to any of you, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can visit me on my website, monicafelton.com, or reach out to me via email. Thank you so much, and again, 
Good luck with the college funding process. Until next time.